let's take a look at a really simple technique when you have some text and you want to make sure it shows up a little better on a background. You can see I have text here. You can kind of read it, but I want to make sure you can really see it. So we're going to do kind of a little back screening effect. So we're going to start off by making a selection, and then we'll use transform selection just to try and make it follow roughly the same kind of angle. Now we could just add a layer and fill with 50% white or something. We're going to instead use an adjustment layer from down here. We're going to use a hue saturation adjustment layer. Oops, over here, hue saturation. And in this dialog box, we're going to use the lighten or lightness command to basically back screen a little bit. Now, obviously our type is white, so if it was a darker type, we could lighten it, but we can also go the other way and kind of darken it up. Now, the layers are in the wrong order at the moment. We'll fix that in just a moment. So let's also lower the saturation down, and that's the beauty of it being an adjustment layer, of course, as you can say, this needs to be down here. And this way, now you can sort of get the effect, but now that's probably a little too dark. So let's lighten it back up a little bit. You still want to kind of see the photo in there. You could also click the Colorize button and instead pick some color, like some shade that would contrast nicely. Okay, that's so again, advantage of it being an adjustment layer. And you'll see how it has the mask there. So if we link these two together and use the Move tool, all of these things will move together so we can position it wherever we want. And if you decide after the fact you need to adjust this in some way, we can still use Free Transform on here to adjust it. Or let's also do one last thing to try and make it a little more interesting, and that is we could take our Gaussian Blur filter, apply the a blur to the outside edges of the mask to make it a lot softer and kind of blend in with the surrounding area. So very simple, but by using an adjustment layer, it's very easy to change your mind. Whew, I'm Dave Cross. Thanks for watching. I don't know about you, but I am ready for a break. I'm just working too hard here.